Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Subsistence Land. I was just about to do a bit of fishing and then I realized uh, there's an ore right here. <laughs> so we're going to get that bad boy. Why? Because ores are priority. Look at you. Oh, yeah, that's it. Welcome to the team. Uh, I have a nice warm place for you to hang out. Um, I am doing a bit of crafting. It's early in the morning. And here, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's do this. Let's put you back in here like that and then also let's go take a look and see what the situation is in here we're cooking up some copper um, we're gonna leave that going just because uh, we're also generating power and all that sort of stuff recovering from our last uh, manufacturing which I believe was the we made a second wind turbine if I remember correctly um, anyways let's get a little bit of fishing done while the uh, okay so today let me let me clarify uh, this is the second half of December I believe in the next episode, the lake is going to freeze over. So I thought, you know what? Let's take advantage of uh, the last of the the actual uh, unfrozen lake. See if we can get a little bit of fishing in and, you know, get some protein and some stuff like that. We have a little protein on us, but I wouldn't mind still getting a little fishing done just to get some the oil. You know, you get the, you get the idea. While we still can, right? Wake, make hay while it is available. Uh, in the meantime, I am also using this time. I'm not wasting it. Um, oh, here, let's, let's cast. That's interesting. I'll get to that in a second. I am also using this time to craft up a bunch of uh, boards. Well, I made some fishing tackle too. But a bunch of boards and some cordage. So I'm not wasting my fishing time. I'm, I'm making stuff. Uh, in the meantime, you will notice that I am outside the range right now of the campfire. So uh, the temperature is minus one degrees celsius it is uh, snowy and a little bit kind of disgusting out and i am not taking hits on my my health so that's pretty cool that's showing that i can be out and about uh without taking any i get a little frosty around the edges here and then if i back up a little bit i'll be on in the range of the campfire there we go and then it sort of warms up a little. But anyways, let's just, uh, yeah, <clears throat> that's good to know. So essentially, oh, hey, another little fish. Oh, that's just awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's not really a problem. We need the oil. Uh, all right. So um, beyond the fishing, what is the plan for today? And also, uh, you know, opportunistic ore gathering. Uh, the plan is we're going to do a little bit of looting. I, I want to check out, uh, keep my, I, I'm, I really do want to try to at least get out a little bit each day to get some looting done for two reasons. The first is because looting is important. you got to keep, uh, keep your supplies coming in, right? But there is another reason. I am trying, this is the first time I've experienced these, a lot of these seasons. I want to get a feel for what the, the changes are in any given, uh, you know, uh, half month period. Because this is, as I say, this is the second half of December. So. What's the difference between the first half of December and the second half of December? I think that's basically what I... I want to be able to, you know, to experience it all, right? So that's the plan. Um, ah, that's good enough. We've got... Yeah. That's enough. That's enough. Are we making... Yeah, we're still making boards, planks. Okay. Uh, let's put you away. Let's put you away down here. Let's put this down here. Uh, let's convert you... No, don't eat all three. Harvest oil. Okay, yeah. There we go. And uh, we do have a bit of food. Um, what I might do... Uh, I have been uh, told that it's a good idea to... Uh, I, oh, man, that is a weird bug that it does that. Uh, it's a good idea to burn the chicken because you get more mass out of it than you do out of the, uh, the liver and the steak. I... I'm going to assume that's true. Oh, but we're going to take a quick look also at the plants. So let's do that. I assume that's true. So let's, uh, I've got more protein than I kind of probably need. So let's, um, let's get that sorted. Because that'll probably end up, oh, you're almost done, but you're full. You are nowhere near done, but you're full too. Okay, good. Just double checking. Oh, two wind turbines. Ha, ha, ha. Sorry, I just had to confirm that. And there we go. Okay, let's put uh, you away and you away and a couple of you. 
Now we'll have, actually, let's drink one water. And just, t let's make sure that we're fully tanked up before we run out the door. There we go. I should have done that before while I was still down there, but I didn't. And that is the way it is. Uh, you're burnt. And also we can put you in here. Uh, start a burnt chicken pile. Uh, we can't tell how much mass there is in the in a burnt these two comparison, but we do because and we have a fabricator, so we can't we don't have a recycler, so we can't test that. But uh, yeah, so we'll have to do that later. But for now, we can just back up some mass. Um, uh, maybe top up my vegetables a little bit. How about an apple? Apple's good sort of fall winter food, right? There we go. We're full. Okay, and then. Got some protein. I'll hold off on that, but I'm I'm pushing it. Oh. And one last thing I'm gonna do is uh let's top up let's top up the uh the fuel. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna use wood because I didn't want to waste a full fuel brick. And we have okay, there we go. We got our water, we've got this. I think we're ready to go. What else? How are we doing? We've got... Oh. Oh. Five shotgun shells. Okay, let's grab you and you. Let's make five more. Yeah. That'll get us uh, back up to speed as far as the shotgun shells are concerned. We're doing okay with everything else, so that's fine. And get that shotgun out of my hand before I shoot something. All right, I think we're good. We've got bandages, we've got health kits. All right, the weather doesn't look completely horrifying. That yesterday, whew, that was, uh, that got so loud and it felt really kind of awesome though. It was really cool, nice. Uh, okay, let's go. Um. No, we don't need any small game right now. <gasps> Is that a 105 hit points? Okay. We're for science. We're going to we're going to this we should be able to one shot this white wolf. Hey, bud. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good to know. Now, I do know I do know that uh, I can't one shot a level 3 wolf. And how do I know that, you might ask? Well, that's because uh, in the uh, update video that I did, where basically this this was released, I up, I did the update. Well, I'm not interested in you, uh, regular wolf. Um, in the update video that I did, I believe I did go after a white wolf with a shotgun. I, I seem to remember that. And I seem to remember I needed two shots to do it. So an unupgraded shotgun is not enough to one shot a level three white wolf. Oh, 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 well, you're interested in me, are you? Well, okay, that's fine. I'll tell you what we're gonna do, by the way. We're gonna do some looting, as I say. Um, I wanna do some building today. Oh, hey, Moose. Oh, how you doing there, bro? Have you, oh, he's feeling much better. He's just going to go away. Okay. That's cool. I can dig that. Now. Um, I need... Okay. 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 Right. Let's finish my thoughts. Um, I do want to... Uh, do a bit of building. Oh, dang it. <gasps> There's a white wolf and a black wolf. What level is the white wolf? That's a level three wolf. Okay. So you're 105 hit points. You're fine. Okay. For science, though, we're going to... Let's get this guy out of the way. Because I want to deal with that what other white that white wolf. Okay. 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 We're going to probably be end up burning a lot of food today to preserve it. So let's see what we're dealing with here. There's a few things I want to find out. First of all... He is a level two? Yeah, he's a level two. All right, let's find out his range or his behavior. Oh, one, one growl, one growl. 
Let's see what happens. Okay, one growl didn't didn't piss him off enough. All right, so that's good. So we get the single growl um, warning. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, and next, the next test. A single shotgun shell will take care of it out of a normal shotgun. Excellent. Okay, hey, wait, white wolf, how you doing? Oh. <laughs> uh, there we go. I just wanted to do a bit of testing. Now, there's a bunch of loot down at the bottom of the hill here that I was uh, skipping because I was focused on that, that wolf. So let's get some of this sorted out. Like you, for example, Mr. Medicinal Crate, with almost nothing in it. Oh, my God. Um, we're going to leave this whole area alone. And the plan is we're going to go this way. Oh, there was scrap. That's right. I knew I was forgetting something. I saw you, scrap. But I was focused on the wolf at the time. Any ores? <gasps> oh. Oh. All right. So, there you go. Um, that's a little bit of information as far as the, the white wolf is concerned. Uh, the... It does, the white wolf has a deeper growl than the black wolf. It's more, uh, as opposed to, uh, <laughs> um, right, I do want my gore out. Okay. So that's kind of cool. You do get a warning. You do get a warning before they, uh, like, uh, like the other animals, uh, like the regular wolf and the bear. Uh, before they actually uh, go after you. So that's good to know. And uh, a level two, you can take out a level two white wolf with a single shotgun blast. So that's good to know as well. So lots of uh, nice successful sciencing going on. I'm quite happy about that. Now, the other interesting detail about the white wolf, the fact that it is... Okay, so, uh, second half of December, the white wolf shows up, and uh, I believe my understanding is that there are no bears, and we have indeed not seen any bears. So, uh, the bears, oh, oh, whew. oh, that, that deer freaked me out. I thought it was something else. Okay, all right, all right, deer, you're good. Oh, before I uh, <gasps> left it too late. Oh, well. That's too bad. That's okay, though. We're just doing a quick... Uh, no. Don't do that. We're just doing a quick loot run today. We're just going to run down to the to the river here and back. That is, a, that is a white wolf. And we got the second growl, and he's mad. Let's, let's see if we can put some distance between us and him. Now, he's only walking, so we should be all right. Let's go down here. Is he still following us? Oh, he's definitely harder to see than the other animals, though. That white camouflage in the snow is really something else. Wow. Yep, I think we're good. All right, let's cut back up. Um, no, let's not tangle with any more wolves. Oh. Yeah, it's the first release of C. I, I have, it looks like there's some, uh, a few issues that need to be worked out. I'm, I have uh, full confidence that Cold Games is aware of these things and he's, he's uh, sorting them out in the next release. Now I am cutting back to where that white wolf was. Uh, earlier. I don't know where I can't. There he is. There he is. There he is. Man, he really is difficult to see. That is so cool. That that um, adds a, su such a nice little level of danger. I mean, the bears are easy to spot. Oh. <laughs> oh, what is that? Is that scrap? No, that's a dirty lying fern. Okay, let's go up high. 
let's keep going. Another white wolf right there. Okay. Let's just keep going high. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. So this is almost as far as I really I wanted to get to was the basically to the river here, right? Oh. Rogues. Rogues, rogues, rogues. All right, I don't want to mess with rogues. Um, oh, and a white wolf. <laughs> this little corner of the map's gotten a bit dangerous. <laughs> so I don't want to deal with rogues. And I'll tell you, uh, I've, I've really, I kind of talked about that before. Uh, the return on investment on rogues is not really great uh, until you want to get gears for, uh, is that a lock crane? Or regular crate. That is a locked crate. Hello, lock crate. Yeah, I don't have a lock pick, so you're you're fine. Uh, the return on investment with rogues is pretty bad until you, unless you want gears. And so I'm basically just avoiding them. Uh, so that's, you know, that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. But they're basically right over there, so I don't really want to get too close to them. Uh, there's a few reasons why. Okay, so in winter, if you die, all right, because uh, you've got your cold weather gear, right? So if you die, you get a, uh, a, a, a sort of a, as part of your spawn pack, you do get a, um, a heat pack so that it gives you some time to get back to your, your, your loot, right? And, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. The problem is that I'm fairly far from my base right now, so it would take me a bit of time to get out here. Uh, I would have to take probably more than uh, one heat pack. Uh, then I have to deal with rogues. The problem with rogues is that sometimes they can end up uh, camping your gear a little bit. You know, <laughs> this is not exactly what I would call fun. Um, and it's also one of the reasons why I've been making... Uh, heat packs uh, Even though you know, there's people have said, you know, you don't really need them and all that and I'm like Yeah, but you know if I right now if I had run headlong into those rogues and they had killed me, right? Oh, there's that white wolf again Okay, is there any loots? No If I had run headlong into those those uh, rogues and they killed me uh, I don't think I'd take more that I would want more than one heat pack because you need to you need to gear up, get out to your stuff, and potentially maybe deal with some rogues. Maybe you gotta like aggro them to pull them away, or sneak in to get your gear. Could that could take longer than one heat pack? So I would want more than one heat pack on me if I did that. Now, am I gonna remember to have more than one uh, heat pack on me if I do? Th no, maybe not, cause you know me, but. Uh, yeah, uh, the first thing I would do if I spawned in, if I died to those rogues, oh my, uh, let's do this, let's have some water. Yeah, I am burning through protein. Damn, I wish I'd eaten that, uh, liver before it went bad. Okay, any more ores? Oh. There looks like there's ores and a crate up there. Let's see what surprises there are up on the top of this hill, shall we? None! Yay! First... Oh, and a... Oh, my goodness. A few ores. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, not the most productive uh, loot run, but that's okay. We have uh, we did a bit of uh, white wolf sciencing, so I'm quite happy with that. Let's get you. Anyway, so there you go. That's my logic with, with rogues. Uh, I uh, You would lose your, your cold weather gear. You, is that behind the fence? No. Uh, you would lose your cold weather gear and you would have to uh, m try and recover it. I think you don't lose your cold weather gear. Like it, it won't get, uh, you won't have any problems with it. But let's check out uh, Charlie if we can. <gasps> Charlie's base is coming along. Look at that, they're on their second floor. Um, after winter, I think I'm going to go after them. But I want to 
I'm focusing on basically uh, getting my winter stuff sorted out first. And I need to make a breach charge for them, and I don't want to do that yet. Because I got other things that, you know, other things to build, other things to do. Um, but, uh, yeah, lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> Let's gather wood uh, and head back to the base, do a little bit of looting on the way, and uh, then do a bit of building. I think that's probably a good idea. So, right, I was talking about roads. Yeah. Yeah, you, you do get your... Uh, right, 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 right. You do get your winter gear back. You don't lose your clothes, I think, if you can get your... If you can recover, recover your death bag, right? But still, you got to get out there. <gasps> you got to get out there, right? You have to, you know, in the cold. What if it's, like, super cold, you know? It's just not worth it. Cause if, if the return was better, maybe... Maybe, but no, no. I just, I'm just not into it. Or I, I, I'm making a calculated decision not to do it. So, and those are my, those are my reasons. Anyways, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was a rather long-winded discussion. Yeah, look at them, eh? Oh, cool. All right, let's keep moving. And uh, do a little bit of. Nah, we don't need your. Don't need you, rabbit. And let's get back. And you, rabbit. Yeah, so if I am definitely not struggling for protein uh, in this winter wonderland. I see you, fiber. Okay. And we'll just, uh, we'll finish off our looting by, we'll, we'll gather up some some wood in this, uh, my, my favorite little copse of trees that's right next to my base. I think it's a good spot. But we'll see if there's any more loot. Um, ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There is definitely more loot. Good, 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 good. Oh. Oh, it's weak. Oh, it's weak. <laughs> the medicinal crates lately. Is that a... What is that? Is that a ammo crate or a medicinal crate? Oh, medicinal medicinal crate. Okay. Now the the hunters come fishing over here, so I do have to be a bit careful. I mean, an apple's not terrible, but yeah, not great return on investment with the uh, medicinal crates these days. Okay. All right, let's gather some wood. And we are going to be doing some building today. Oh, look. And there's our neighborhood, Bravo. Hey, Bravo. How's it going? Are you guys weathering the cold? Yeah, I bet you they are. I wonder if they get radiators. I don't think they do. Okay, let's make some boards. And I do have to get back and cook this food up before it goes bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay. But I want to... I want to focus on building once I get back to the base and sort up my inventory. And Oh, there's a white wolf right there. Was that two? I've got multiple... Oh! More science! Let's find out does, if the white wolf will uh, run away from your base. Uh, nope, that didn't do that right. Let's do this, let's do this. We, this is very important uh, information. There was two wolves that I ran into just now. I could have sworn I heard... Okay, you. Okay, let's see if he uh, attacks my base. The bears will attack my base, the wolves won't. Did he not aggro? Oh man, okay. Alright, further science is required. Obviously we didn't... Oh hey. P 
piss him off enough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna greatly anger him. There we go. All right, now he's really mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear him. Oh, he's right behind me. He's right on my bum. And he uses the standard wolf uh, mechanic. All right, well, I don't want to waste that uh, that arrow. So let's uh, let's finish him off, shall we? <laughs> that was okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. That was a little bit spooky. <laughs> he just sauntered up to me. Oh, oh, that was just a little <laughs> disconcerting. <laughs> Oh, and kind of awesome, actually. Okay, no, no, no. I'm getting distracted. I wanted... We're running out of light. I wanted to do some building today. Oh, I didn't wash my hands? Okay, I must have missed. Uh, so let's uh, gather a bit more wood, and let's keep going. So there you go. That was kind of interesting. So the white wolf is like a weird combination of the bear and a wolf, as far as the game mechanics are concerned. Um... That's, I like it. Um, you know, a little variety. I think that's kind of cool. Still a wolf, a little bit more angry, has a warning, does the little warning message. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, let's um, gather this tree and let's get back to the base so we can do some building in the daylight. I've been feeling really bad because I keep doing building at night. And uh, when people can't see what the heck I'm doing, and, uh, yeah, I feel awful about that. I wish I, you know, but... It's just that during the daytime, there's just... You know, that's when you loot, right? That's when the... Okay, how's the fuel? It's okay. Let's cook you guys up. Let's put you in there. Lots of fat. Nice. We've got... Uh, let's not forget about you and you. And, uh, okay. Building materials. What else? Wood... Oh, not a lot of electronics. That's interesting. And, okay, that over there. These are the ores. I got a few ores. That's not too bad. Um, I can live with that. And then we got you, you, you. Carrot! Oh, we don't get carrots very often. That's cool. Uh, and you, of course, go in here. And you go in here. Now, we're going to probably end up burning some of this meat. Yes, look at this. Uh, just because it's, I've got more meat than I can eat. Uh, but that's okay. That's fine. All right. We're that's the cooking row. Uh, how's the power? It's pretty good. You know, we might be able to even uh, build something. Or, um, yeah, make something. We'll get to that later tonight when uh, darkness is less important. Okay, there we go. We've got you, you, and you. Uh, we'll maybe take the hammer just in case we find some damage. Um... But I don't want to burn all of this. That's, uh... Oh, I may not be able to burn much at all. Look at that. I just... Oh, that is interesting. Okay, what do we want to build? There's a couple of things. First of all, I identified this late earlier. I want to close some of this off. So, uh, this is a solid wall. I want a solid wall here. And maybe a window there. So let's do, uh, a solid wall... Well, one window and one solid wall. Okay. And then uh, over here, if I wanted to continue with the building style, uh, I would be basically make uh, another couple of... Hmm, at least one more foundation. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I could... No, no, no. Not yet. Okay, what did we get? Let's put you away and you away. Let's put uh, you here. Oh, right. Don't forget about the uh, building or the uh, cooking. Oh, you're not done yet. Oh. And I have to remember to refuel as well. Okay, that's cool. And it's getting dark. See, this is... Oh, you know, I do feel bad, but... Um, I mean, it's just that... Daylight is so valuable for, uh, you know, 
other reasons. And then we could do a couple of roof pieces. Are you done yet? Yes, okay. And then, you know what we could do? Uh, let's see. And not delete. I always have to do this. I've ac I have literally uh, accidentally deleted things. I have done this. Uh, so that's that's why I'm paranoid about it. Um, well, that's probably not where I wanted to put it. But there you go. This is what I've got so far. And then right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, foundation in. And the board's facing that way. Yeah. There you go. I go with foundations for ceilings because they're stronger than the regular ceilings. They're 750 hit points. Um, how are you doing? You need help. I knew that there was some damage over here still. Oh, I don't have any logs. I need logs. Let's go get some logs. And now it's dark over here. You know what I should do is make, um... Bloody... Yeah, just, just, dude, just make another bloody light. Just for crying out loud. It's a little scrap and a little bit of electronics. One, two, one, two, three. I think that was right. There we go. There we go. Okay, now. So, uh, I'm leaving this kind of open. I will maybe put another foundation there. But this is my escape. This is how I get back in. This is if you're fighting down on the to the water down here. And, you know, you can... Whatever. This, so, this is like how I get into the base, right? So, that's kind of cool. Um, I think that's good enough for now. I'm not really too ha happy with this being open, but we can we can live with that. Let's get our other light. Uh, there we go. Put one here. There we go. All right, this is improving. Now I need what is it? Four ceiling pieces. Okay, uh, and that is the. Sloped ceiling. One, two, three, four. I could do with some vegetables. Oh, my, my uh, plants. Let's go take a look. Some of those might be ready. <gasps> it's frozen over. Oh. oh, my plants are ready too. It's like a super bonus day. And you guys are okay, but you do need some water and fertilizer. All right, we'll deal with you. And you don't because you probably finished off er earlier in the day. And this is all tomatoes, I think. Oh, look at how many tomatoes I have. Okay, let's extract seeds from all of you. And one, two, three, four. Let's extract. There we go. I like having uh, extra seeds. Uh, enough to fill a plant bed. Okay. And uh, what else? What else do we want to do? We want to do you, you. Let's grab some water. Uh, and let's take a look at what else we can grow. So we do not have any more cotton seeds. Uh, we're doing really well with tomatoes right now. So I think I can hold off on some tomatoes for a bit. And uh, let's do medicinal plants because we can use that for biofuel. And biofuel is super useful. Yeah, yeah. I think we're in good shape. Okay. And let's do medicinal plants. There we go. We're going to leave the food and water the way it is. Medicinal plants are low priority, so I am going to not worry too much about the, um, the, the, the fertilizer for this one. Yeah. Okay, and that one has cotton in it. Whoa. There we go. Okay. You know what? That you're... Uh, let's see... Okay, let's refill you guys. All right, my water is good. The only thing I can do is probably get a bit, some more vegetables. So let's put you away. Let's put you away and the seeds. And then we're going to refill you and... Oh, there it is right there. I thought, hey, I thought I made four. All right, and what else do we have? I think we're in good shape. Yeah. In fact, what we could do is make some more planks. That's good enough for now. I could do more, but... And then, uh, refuel. Yeah, that's just about right. There we go. And then over here, what we could do is we could put in some roofing pieces. So that would be, uh, number five. Uh, 
All right, right here, and then we just pull it back. There we go. And let's do this the other way. Let's do it from over here. Okay, and then we just turn you around, and then we push you out. Nope. Right there. And... Yeah, the lighting is, is still not great, but it's better than it... <laughs> better than the previous ones where I had, like, no lighting at all. Uh, turn you around, push you out to about there. And then take you and turn you around, push you out. Nope. There we go. All right. We are um, pretty well fully enclosed. And, yeah. Okay, so what's our power and mass situation? We've got a bit, but not enough to do really anything too interesting. <gasps> Water. Oh, so here's the thing. Normally I would run down and gather water, but there is no way to gather water on the ice. Oh my God, what am I going to do? Oh no, this is terrible. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what we do. We just simply come over here, stand on the snow and do uh, fill it up with snow and it's actually just as convenient as going down to the lake but i can't go in, i can't go fishing now which makes me sad until ice fishing comes in at which point i'm less sad all right and i think one last thing because we're getting into morning is we'll have a couple of maybe uh well how about an apple a couple of tomatoes and we're just about right and I'll hold off on the food here because... But I am going to have to eat this quick before it goes bad. Um, at some point. And I think... Let's... I think we're good, good for building for now, too. So let's just put you away, you away, and you away. And get you there and there. And then we put the hammer back in here. All right. Let's go take a look and see the sunrise from upstairs. And... Oh, right. How's my power? Uh, in is 0.3, out is 0.2. Oh, I'm more out than in. Oh, because of the... Right, no sun and probably no wind. Let's turn off these lights. Let's, and I'll have to rethink the... Oh, we're missing sun uh, sunrise. <gasps> yeah, look, death. <laughs> and there we go. So we have ourselves an icy wonderland. So tomorrow is going to be an interesting day. We're going to basically uh, do, we're going to probably do a bit more looting, of course, because what else, you know, I mean, we got to experience all of the seasons. I'm trying to be, trying to get out and at least take a look at what's going on for most of the, you know, most of these situations. See what the difference is for today. Looks like maybe there's slightly less ground clutter. I'm not really sure, but we'll get into that in the next one. In the meantime, thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye. Hang on. Let's do this. Yes. Greeting the morning sun. All right. Bye.